Well, Western Cape Premier Helen Ziller has been suspended from the DA until her disciplinary hearing over those tweets around colonialism is concluded. In a statement, the party's federal executive chairperson, James Self, says that the decision was taken by an overwhelming majority. Zilla's uh, disciplinary hearing will now commence on Friday. She remains the premier of the Western Cape. Well, joining us now on the line from Cape Town is James Self, the chairperson of the DA's Federal Executive and Federal Council. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the program, uh, Mr. Self. Uh, take us through the decision that you had to make today uh, from your party's perspective. Well, um, about uh, five days ago, um, the Federal Executive uh, debated a uh, proposal to place a Mozilla uh, on suspension, uh, and uh, it uh, then mandated me to communicate with Mozilla and gave her 72 hours to give reasons why she should not be suspended. Uh, those reasons were supplied last night, and uh, we met as a federal executive in the course of the day. Uh, we carefully considered her representations. Uh, we got legal advice on them. And uh, in the end, the party took a decision uh, to uh, temporarily suspend her from party activities pending her disciplinary hearing, which, as you said, starts on Friday. Now, she's saying that um, this whole process has been a bit of a sham because uh, party leader Musi Maimani on Saturday had already said that uh, she'd been suspended and that essentially in the last couple of days, all you've done is to try and justify a decision that was taken before she had a chance to give her representations. Well, um, to the extent that that was a, an issue, and she did obviously raise that in her representations, uh, we decided, uh, or Mr. Maimani decided, that he would recuse himself from the meeting, uh, which he did. But it is certainly not true that uh, the federal executive had already decided uh, to suspend her on Saturday. Uh, we uh, were at pains to give her that opportunity to make representations, and we very carefully considered them. All right, so she's also made representations on what she says are uh, wrong grounds for her dismissal. And in there, she says that um, white DA members are being treated differently to black DA members uh, for the same crimes of uh, um, social media tweets. Uh, well, we reject that uh, argument very robustly. Uh, we, each case uh, that comes before us is treated on its merits. And I do not believe that then she would be able to sustain that argument uh, in any way. Uh, why didn't you suspend her when she was charged initially? And that was some time ago. Well, uh, at that point, uh, there wasn't the same degree of uh, media hype. Uh, and uh, what was increasingly happening uh, was that this debate started taking uh, root uh, within the structures of the party, uh, which was very destabilizing to the uh, uh, business at hand, uh, which is uh, to prepare the party for the 2019 election. And what we wanted to do is to isolate this particular matter, the disciplinary hearing, uh, from uh, the party structures, uh, both because uh, it was destabilizing, but also because I think it's in the best interest of the Silla and in the interests of justice, uh, for there to be a separation between this debate and her trial. Are you satisfied that the level of um, anger that's on Twitter or social media is representative of the whole country? Because I think sometimes it's quite easy to to follow something that's trending and think that that's what everybody is thinking, but it really is a small universe, the Twitter sphere. Of course it is, and uh, that is not what she is being charged with. Uh, she is ch being charged with uh, bringing the party into disrepute and harming the interests of the party, and we believe that we can, uh, we are able to do that objectively and uh, uh, beyond any uh, doubt. 
So uh, she remains the uh, Premier of the Western Cape. Um, how does that work, that she's out of the party, but uh, she represents the party uh, in, in her executive position? Well, for precisely because um, the party nominated her, uh, it didn't elect her. The voters in the Western Cape elected her. And uh, there are, in law, only two ways in which you can uh, remove a premier of a uh, province. Uh, the one is by uh, moving a motion of no confidence, and the other one is by terminating her membership. Now, uh, that's presumably why the ANC have such difficulty in getting rid of President Zuma. Uh, but it's not our job to remove the constitutionally elected uh, office bearer from their position. It is the job of the elected representatives in that structure. Have you had conversations uh, with um, Helen Ziller before about her tweets? Because this isn't the first time she's uh, made controversial tweets that have uh, caused, uh, you know, a bit of ructions on, on the Twitter sphere. Have you had conversations with her and said to her, look, you know, let's, let's chat about the best way forward and, and she's defied you? Or how did we get to this point? Well, uh, we have had several conversations with her uh, and uh, we have tried uh, our utmost to try and mediate this matter. Uh, but it has proved thus far to, to be impossible. And in the circumstances, our federal executive believed uh, that uh, to avoid any further um, escalation of the, the controversy, it would be better to place her on temporary suspension. So what are you going to be deciding on Friday? Well, it's not me that's going to be doing anything or the party per se. Uh, she will be uh, appearing before the party's Federal Legal Commission. That is an independent institution. Um, and we have absolute faith in that institution that uh, will deliver a sound judgment. Uh, and we will abide by its findings, whatever those findings are. Could that mean she'll be expelled from the party? Well, it's theoretically possible, but I wouldn't want to speculate about uh, likely sanctions. So how damaging has this whole process been? I mean, you know, people from the outside looking in can't believe that it's escalated to these levels. Hmm. Well, it has, in our view, objectively been uh, damaging. And um, we think that we can demonstrate that. Uh, but um, it's, it's certainly not by our design that, that the matter became escalated. Uh, and, um, you know, there, are, there was a series of justifications for the tweet and a whole uh, body of uh, um, uh, literature that was produced on uh, the subject of colonialism and its legacy, which was essentially completely irrelevant to the project that the DA is involved in, which is to build a unified uh, post-ANC uh, society uh, based on the principles of freedom, fairness, and opportunity. It had nothing to do with the colonialism. All right, Mr. Self, we've run out of time, but uh, there is just one question completely unrelated that I'd like to ask you. Uh, Mokhale City, we believe that uh, the mayor there uh, in your um, coalition government has been voted out in a secret ballot. What is interesting is that we believe that the DA didn't want a secret ballot at the time, but you then agreed to it. Your comments on that, because people might say, well, you know, you can't say we don't want a secret ballot in Mohale, but we do want one in Parliament. Um, and what does this mean for Mohale going forward? Well, uh, there are two different questions. I mean, we've never said we believe in a secret ballot, as a matter of fact. We didn't enter that court action. Uh, we will abide by the outcome of it. Um, uh, there might be some temporary advantages in having a secret ballot if that means that one can get uh, rid of Mr. Zuma. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the secret ballot generally applied across the country is an invitation to, uh, to checkbook politics as bad as the floor crossing was. And uh, it invites people to do secret deals behind uh, the back of their parties and behind the back of their electorates. 
Um, and uh, we believe that uh, people are elected on a platform. Uh, we know what the Democratic Alliance is going to do in the motion of no confidence. It will vote for the motion of no confidence to get rid of Mr. Zuma. We don't need a secret ballot in order to do, be able to do that. And uh, we believe that that is what the mandate we have from the voters who voted Democratic Alliance at the last election. All right, Mr. Self, thank you very much indeed uh, for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, that was uh, James Self uh, speaking to us uh, about the suspension of Helen Ziller, temporary suspension uh, from all party activities. She remains the uh, DA's uh, Western Cape Premier and uh, she'll have her disciplinary on Friday. And oh, to be a fly on the wall <laughs> on, on Friday. All right. And